Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day's going great. I am playing around in Luminar Trace today and I'm editing some portrait photos. I mean, what's going on around here? Uh, my, my motto for years has been, I'll take photos of it as long as it can't talk back. Uh, but, um, you know, hey, it's just not been my thing, but um, I'm trying, I'm trying real hard. Um, I've had people ask me to do uh, Luminar editing uh, videos about uh, portraits for a long time. And uh, you know, I've gone to a few events here in Austin, uh, they're called a drink and click. And at, at a drink and click event, basically, you know, it, it, you just meet at a bar and there's some models that, uh, that show up to get their photos taken. And it's guys and gals, uh, both that model. And anyway, I go mostly, um, and I don't go all the time, but I mostly go for the social aspect. I like hanging out with other photographers and talking about that because I haven't really historically shot portraits. But, um, you know, going to these events, it, it's, it's certainly prompted me to want to try to practice that because it's definitely a component of photography that I've just ignored and really never spent time on. Um, and a lot of my videos are around the creative sort of things. And I feel like while you can do creative things um, with some portraits, um, a lot of my creativity is around color and texture and all that, and you probably don't want to do that to, you know, hey, look how pretty you're not because I messed up your photo. Um, so I don't want to do those things, but regardless, I took some portraits. I'm going to edit them. Let's hop into it. Um, so I've got this photo here. I'm going to go ahead and add raw develop and tone and vignette, and admittedly, um, those are probably the three filters I use the most on portraits. I think the first thing I'm going to do is crop this photo. So I'm gonna do a square crop here, and I will admit that I experimented with this before starting the video, uh, but hey, like you'd expect me to get my ducks in a row. Let me see. I wanna line that up. Now it's not gonna be perfectly aligned um, to like her eye in the rule of thirds sort of thing, but I think it works. Um, so a little bit tighter crop, and uh, now I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff, and I kinda of do this by feel. There's not like a, you know, here's what you should do kind of thing. Um, a tad of clarity. I think you want to be careful with clarity because if you do stuff like that, you can get really crispy looking and, you know, no young lady wants to have a photo of her that looks kind of crispy. So I would go kind of light on clarity. Um, and maybe take the highlights down a little bit. Maybe shadows up. Eh, not that much. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave shadows. I'm going to bring smart tone up a little bit, something like that. And then I'm going to add a vignette. Um, and the beautiful thing about vignette, of course, is you can place center. So I'm gonna do a little inner light. I'm gonna place center, and I'm gonna place it right here about on her chin. Something like that. Actually, maybe a little bit lower, maybe into this bulb. Um, I like to have a little bit of shadow and vignette around her, so I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. But I'm not really happy with it. So I'm gonna go get the HSL filter, which is probably not something you always think of with a portrait photo, but in this case, her face is too orange, reflecting that light there, and I don't really like that. So, actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the temperature down a little bit. Um, I like to uh, accentuate that. It, it was after dark, so it's a little bit, um, you know, bluer, if you will. You can tell on that uh, wall behind her. I'm gonna take the orange saturation down. I think that looks a lot better on her skin. And I think I may change the hue of the orange. Let me see. Uh, I don't, yeah, hey, green, it's Halloween. Um, I don't wanna do that. Maybe like something like that. I mean, just minuscule, but then take saturation down. But I may take the luminance up. And that will, I think, help in terms of accentuating the light that's coming, uh, uh, hitting her face from that light bulb. So let me see the before and the after uh, for that filter. I think her, her face looks a lot better. That was this way too yellowy orange. I think now it's a lot more natural skin tone, and I think I would just tighten up that vignette, actually. Um, I kind of like a heavy vignette on a portrait like this, but it's personal preference, maybe a tiny more inner light. Let's look at the before and after. Here's a split screen. I mean, her face is very different. I like the skin tones much better in this one, and the overall, there's the before. You know, brighter kind of around the edges, darker, even with that light in the center and really orange light. And after, um, staring at it. I don't know that I'm finished, but I think that's all I'll do for this video. I might would have to experiment a little bit more, but regardless, I, we went from there to there quickly with you know basically four filters. Let me get another photo and jump into that one. Okay, now we're back with another photo, and I've already selected my three filters, the raw develop, the tone, and the vignette filter. Once again, I'm gonna crop. 
I think in this one, I'm, I'm gonna just keep with the original aspect ratio, but um, I can tighten that up and I can, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I just about got that on her eye on the rule of thirds on that grid. I think that, I think that crop works. I'm gonna say done. Okay, I loved her uh, facial expression. I just thought it was, it was awesome. Um, so I'm gonna, a little contrast, a tiny bit of clarity. Once again, a little temperature reduction. And I'm not advocating that you reduce temperature um, every time you, you take a portrait. That's not my intent. This is a nighttime shot, so I just kind of want a little bit more, tiny bit more blue kind of in the background. Um, a tiny bit of smart tone because I want to lighten her face a little bit and also her hair. I mean, if you look at it kind of dark, you can't quite see the texture and the stuff in her hair. Now I think it looks a lot better, and frankly, her hair is kind of awesome. So um, I'm going to zoom in, and of course, one thing you want to make sure is that your photo is kind of sharp. Um, I think that looks pretty good on her eye. I think it's probably a little cleaner on her that'd be her right eye, the left side of the photo, than it is on the other one. But, um, you know, hey, I don't pretend to be a photographer. Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, I do pretend to be a photographer. I don't pretend to be a portrait photographer. So I probably didn't nail the focus just right, but I was shooting handheld f1.8, and my guess is I probably centered it on her right eye. I don't know. This was a few days ago. Um, and, you know, a quick vignette, I think. Tighten that up a little bit and a little inner brightness just because it's happy. Um, you know what? Once again, I think I might do HSL. Um, and, you know, there was a, so just to clarify, there was a ring light over to the right, and people were doing all kinds of things with it, like stare, you know, putting their face in it, and people were shooting through the ring light and all that. I didn't do any of that. She kind of paused and then turned and happened to look over here, and I was like, oh, let me take a photo. Um, so I think I, I probably got a lot of that light. I think I'd desaturate her skin a little bit, which again is the orange. Um, she's, you know, I think looks a little bit more natural. Um, but that doesn't look bad. I mean, it's just, it's just brighter. Um, and there it is, a little bit desaturated. I might give back a little bit. I like the color of her skin. Uh, you know, it's, it's really rich. So I think that looks nice. So there's the before, there's the after, and a split screen one more time. Not a massive difference. And that's the thing with uh, portraits. You know, unless you're doing like conceptual or composites or something like really um, different, this kind of portrait, there's not a lot of editing, uh, in my opinion, uh, but I'm happy to be corrected. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me show you one more photo. Okay, so uh, now that same lady and this gentleman were modeling and sitting on a rock there, and I kind of like the little twinkly lights on the fence, and the light was kind of nice. I think it was that ring light again over here to the right kind of shining on them. I just thought it was a good pose. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I kind of like, I think I cropped this, let me look. Um, yeah, I've already cropped it a little bit. So straightened it and cropped it a little bit, but there you go. Um, I definitely wanted to make sure his hand stayed in the photo uh, and just got the bottom of his elbow. So I think all that kind of works. You could tighten the crop up a little bit, I think. I don't know, I kind of like it that way. Um, raw develop, so uh, you know, I might do a tiny bit of temperature and I did do a little tint. Um, I took the highlights down significantly, whites down, and a tiny bit of clarity. Um, then I added smart tone, or I should say the tone filter. I bumped up smart tone, took down highlights and whites. Um, if you look at the before, kind of, uh, I mean, the ring light was coming from the right-hand side, so it was a little bright there. And here's the after. I kind of evened that out a little bit, and then I kind of went in with a vignette and uh, darkened that up just to kind of really focus. And, you know, I like vignettes anyway, um, but... This one, you know, I really just liked how it just, it just helps to center it, right? So inner, inner light and all that kind of stuff. I centered it over here, probably like right around here, like on his shoulder probably. Um, and then I went in and did um, HSL again. So I just took the orange down. Both of them have like a lovely uh, color to their skin, but I feel like it was getting a little too orange. And I think that would probably work, but I took it down a bit. I might give back a little bit because I, I like the color. I don't really want to lose it, but maybe take it down a little bit. Maybe something like that. So let me show you the before and the after. Just a little bit more focused, uh, no pun intended, um, photo. And speaking of focus, if I recall correctly, my focal point was on her face. So let's let's zoom in. Check me out here. I mean, again, I was shooting at f1.8, but they both look really good. I'm pretty sure I was focused on her face. You can see all the texture in her hair and his hair. Their hair kind of went together, which I thought was cool. Um, they looked great together. So uh, the only thing I was going to say was 
I was playing around with these other two filters, Matte Look and Orton Effect, and I I wouldn't necessarily use them a lot on portraits, but you know, Matte Look is kind of cool. You can do some interesting things. Um, you know, I don't know how much you're gonna like this. I don't know how much I'm gonna like this, um, but you know, I might would change up this a little bit. Let's see here. I don't know. Uh, let me see. There's the before. I like the before better, to be honest. But you know, a lot of people like that kind of. I don't know, hipster look or vintage look, and the matte look filter does a great job of that. I'm just gonna delete it, I was just experimenting. And the other one I like on this is the Orton effect, simply because I like the Orton effect, it does a wonderful job with skin, creating that kind of soft glow, kind of that romantic lighting. And there's the before, you know, you, you're gonna see more details than before, like in their hair and their skin. And then after, it's a little higher contrast, little richer color and a little more glow to it, but I like that. I would be happy with either one, to be honest. Um, but that's it, my friends. I was just kind of playing with these photos just simply because I just took them the other day, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a portrait video because I don't ever do it because I don't ever take portraits, but I'm trying real hard, my friends. I'm trying real hard. So uh, I'm gonna keep uh, experimenting with portraits as I take them, which is gonna be few and far between, to be honest, but I might sprinkle a few in here just for fun. And uh, that's it. I uh, hope you got some, maybe some ideas here. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you really soon. Have a great day. Take care and adios.